Now, COVID-19 has been a very stressful time for many Americans from all, walks, from all walks of life. One group that is having to adjust is hopeful adoptive parents. With travel restrictions and rooms in hospitals being needed for COVID patients, even being able to meet or bring home their new adopted child can be challenging. So today we're joined by the executive director of the adoption consul, cons, sorry, Consulty, <laughs> Nicole Witt, who's here to talk about how COVID-19 has significantly changed the process in several ways. Good morning, Nicole. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me today. Absolutely. Well, Nicole, how has this pandemic changed the relationship between potential birth parents and adoptive parents who are trying to go through this process? Yeah, it's changed it in several ways. The good news is it hasn't halted the process in any way. Things are moving forward. But in terms of their specific relationship, that relationship building, of course, has to pretty much all be done virtually these days, which isn't a radical difference if people lived far apart in different states. A lot of times, a lot of the relationship already was built through phone or texting or Skype. But usually at some point, there was some in-person interaction to kind of take that relationship a little bit deeper and obviously that's not really happening these days right i can understand that's definitely a challenge now before an adoption there are often meetings in the hospital with the the birth mother the potential adoptive parents social workers friends etc so how has that changed and what should birth parents and potential adoptive parents be prepared for yeah, that's one of the bigger changes is the hospital policies, and those are probably going to be some of the last ones that change back to sort of what we consider normal if they ever do. And previously, the potential birth mom had the choice of whoever she wanted in the hospital, whether it was some family and friends, a social worker to support her. Sometimes she would invite the adoptive parents to be there. And now she can often have no visitors or maybe one support person in delivery with her. So that's really changed the whole experience, not only for the potential birth mom who, you know, if she wanted all that support, that certainly makes it more difficult. But some of them, you know, maybe are appreciating the more quiet time that they're having in the hospital. So that might be okay for them. It's certainly made it more stressful for um, the adoptive parents, right? Who, instead of being there, kind of being on top of what's going on, they kind of just have to wait to get an update and, you know, hope that things are going smoothly. Yeah, well, obviously this is a stressful time for everybody and then trying to go through an adoption, I can only imagine that on top of everything else. Now, I guess finally, during a potential adoption, there's often some travel, whether it's just a day trip across the country or, sorry, across the state or a cross-country flight. And so what are some of the solutions to possible travel obstacles that they may be facing during this pandemic? Right. So a lot of people are uncomfortable with that these days, if it's even an option, where sometimes it's not. Um, some states have shut down short term um, home rentals and, and so on. Um, so one thing that I've seen people doing, which has been kind of interesting, is renting RVs or mobile homes. So that way they can kind of sanitize the whole thing. They can drive to wherever they need to go. They can cook their meals and so on. Um, and nobody else ever has to sort of enter the unit. And then once they get clearance to go home, they can just drive on home. If they're going to a state where they have to remain quarantined when they get home, they can just stay in the RV instead of constantly needing to change and, and move into different places. So that's been kind of an interesting um, option that people have come up with a creative solution to the problem. Um, and, you know, now with some travel restrictions being lifted, you know, people who are more comfortable flying, you know, now that there's going to be more social distancing on airplanes and people wearing masks and so on, they'll have the option to do that again as well. Well, an RV is definitely a unique solution, especially yes. if people are able to drive where they need to go. And yes, absolutely. That, that's one that might stick around even after all this passes. Right. And Nicole, I guess finally, where can people go to see more information and more resources on both adoption during the pandemic and then possibly afterwards as well? Yeah, well, they're welcome to visit my website at theadoptionconsultancy.com where they can find me on, on Facebook. And um, we're sharing a lot of information as we go, as things are changing every day. Okay, well, Nicole, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks so much. All right, bye now.